Hello and welcome to this just over 15 minute stretching video. So I want you to get into a high plank position, take your right leg outside your right hand, then drop your left knee to the floor and reach your right arm up towards the ceiling looking through the fingertips. Then take that right elbow as low down to the ground as you can, reach back up again, looking through those fingertips. And again, another rep. We're gonna do five in total. Make sure you're squeezing that left glute to engage the left hip flexor. So you're feeling it all the way up, that left hip flexor, good. Keep looking through the fingertips. One more rep, down and up, rotating that spine around. Good, now we're gonna go back into the high plank position. Left leg outside the left hand, right knee drops to the floor, feet flat on the ground, left hand and arm comes up towards the ceiling looking through your fingertips dropping that left elbow towards the floor and up again this time you want to be squeezing the right glute to engage that right hip flex so we're going for five again on this side good rotate round look through those fingertips hold that stretch final rep drive all the way up looking through squeezing that glutes Good work, okay. We're gonna come back into a downward dog position. So pushing away through your hands, both heels onto the floor, and we're gonna lift the right heel up for a couple of seconds, and then the left heel, alternating between both feet. Right heel comes up again, and left heel up. Make sure you tuck that chin in towards your neck. Right heel up again, and left heel up. And right again, really stretching off the calves here and left heel up again. Good, couple more each side, right heel up and left heel up. There we go, okay, now come down into your cobra position. So from your downward dog, scoop down. You're gonna drop your hips to the floor, relax those shoulders and look up towards the ceiling. Holding that stretch there, drawing your rib cage away from the floor, feeling the stretch through the abdominals and a little pinch in the lower back. Hold this stretch here, nice deep breaths and look over your right shoulder, rotating round, holding this stretch here. Keep those shoulders relaxed, hips towards the floor and back to the middle over the left shoulder this time, holding this stretch here keeping those shoulders down and focus on that breathing. Now we're gonna come into a child's pose. So you wanna draw your knees a little bit out to the side, sit back on your heels, reach your hands as far forward as you can. You can drop your forehead to the ground, hold this stretch here and really elongate your back as much as you can as if someone is pulling your hands away from your body. Deep breaths here. And now work your hands over to the left hand side, place your right hand on top of your left hand and slightly rotate to the right and feel that deep stretch down the left side of your body. Actually, it's your right side of your body, your right lat. Good, and hold this stretch here. Keep the breathing coming, nice and regular. And now work your hands over to the other side. So your left hand is gonna go on top of your right. Slightly rotate out to the left hand side and feel that stretch down the left side of the body. Good. All the way down your left lat, keep that breathing. And then draw those hands back into the middle. We're then gonna come forward into our cobra again. So relax the shoulders, draw the rib cage away from the floor, feel those abs opening up and a little pinch in the back. Good, now we're gonna come back into that downward dog position, both heels into the floor this time, just to stretch off the back of the calves again, tuck the chin in towards your chest. And now into a high plank position and then onto our bum. Get your feet, pull them nice and close together. Grab onto your ankles or you can hold your feet. Drive your elbows into the side of your knees and then come up and relax. Drive them again down into the side of your knees. A Couple of seconds holding here and back up. 
same again. So a little bit of a dynamic stretch here, driving those elbows in. We're just working the adductors or the groins as they are also known. Good, driving those elbows in, relax, bring the knees up. And again, elbows in, keep those shoulders down and relaxed, back nice and straight. Knees come up, elbows in again. Feeling that stretch in the groin. And then we're gonna extend the left leg out in front of us, keep the right leg tucked in towards the thigh, reach round with the right arm. Try and touch your toes if you can, depending on your flexibility, if you can hold onto your ankle, your shin bone, but focus on getting that head down towards the left knee. Hold that stretch here. You might feel this in your lower back as well, but also in your hamstrings, and we're getting a calf stretch too, particularly if you can point those toes towards your face. Hold this stretch. Good, now we're gonna do the same again with the other side. So right leg out in front, left leg comes in, reach around with that left arm, holding onto your feet if you can, your ankles or shins will do if that's how far you can go. Find your range, but drop that head and try and get it as close to that right knee as possible. Again, you might feel a little stretch in the lower back. That is fairly normal. Deep breaths here and hold, good. Now you're gonna come onto your right side. You're gonna take your left leg, pull it back, and we're stretching off the quadriceps here. So drive your hips forward, so scoop your pelvis under, keep that leg pulled back to increase the stretch down the left quadricep, the front of that leg. Use your elbow to support you. It's a big muscle, the quadricep, so we're gonna hold this stretch just for a little bit longer really feeling it opening up the front. Keep that breathing regular. And now we're gonna switch around onto the other side. So come onto your left side on that left elbow, take that right leg back and drive those hips forward to increase that stretch, scoop that pelvis under and feel it all the way down the front of your leg in those quadriceps, holding this stretch for a little bit longer because of the size of the muscle. Good work, okay. We're gonna come into a high plank position and then you're gonna take your left leg underneath your body with your left foot out to the side. You're then gonna sink into that left foot. Try and keep that right leg as straight as you can. Weight on those elbows and keep that weight balanced evenly over this bent leg. This is called the pigeon stretch. The aim is to try and get that leg at 90 degrees but if you can't do that, that is fine but you should feel the stretch in that left glute, that left buttock. Hold this stretch here and focus on that breathing. Good, okay, we're gonna come back into a high plank position now, taking that right leg underneath us this time to stretch the other leg. Try and kick that leg out so it's 90 degrees if you're flexible, you'll be able to do this. If not, that leg might come back a little bit, but make sure that left leg is straight and that weight is distributed evenly down the middle over the bent leg underneath us. And breathe, feel that stretch in the right glute, the right buttock. Good, nice work. <clears throat> okay. Now we're gonna come onto one leg. So the left leg is gonna come out in front of us. And we're gonna stretch the right hip flexor. Make sure you squeeze that right bum cheek, drive that right arm up towards the ceiling and lean over to the left side. Stay nice and tall, come back into the middle. We're gonna go the same again, making this dynamic. Lean over to that left side and back into the middle. Make sure you're reaching up as well as over. So really stay nice and tall. You should feel that stretch all the way up the right side of your hip flexor going into your abdominals a little bit. Reaching over. Good. And exhale as you come into the middle. Big inhale as you come over. Exhale as you come back. Nice, we're gonna go the same again for the other side. So the right leg's coming up, the left leg is back. Squeeze that left bum cheek. Left arm comes up towards the ceiling. Lean over towards the right side, stay nice and tall. And exhale as you come back into the middle. Inhale as you lean over. 
and exhale. Good, making sure you're squeezing that left bum cheek so you can activate that left hip flexor back over and hold, stretch onto that right side back into the middle and over again, stay nice and tall and relax. Okay, come on to all fours now. We're gonna do a bit of cat camel. So really tuck your belly button in towards the spine, rounding that back and then using your abs to arch your back head up. Then tuck that neck in, really round that back, coming back in, arching, using your abs to control the ribs. Really push into that lower back, get as round as possible, tuck that chin in and back up again. Now take your right arm out towards the side. You're gonna feed it underneath that left arm. Drive that right shoulder into the floor as much as you can. Right ear should be flat on the floor as well. We're just opening up the upper back here. Hold that stretch, really reach that right arm as far across your body as possible. And we're gonna go the same again. So left arm, thread that needle under the right. Drive that left shoulder into the ground and hold this stretch here, really feel it opening up the back. Good work. Okay, we're gonna come onto our back now and we're gonna take the right leg up into the chest, grip with both hands on that shin, pull it nice and tight, keep that left leg straight and on the ground if you can. So we're just stretching a little bit of the quadrarus laborum, quadrus laborum, there we go, James, you got that right. <laughs> the lower back muscle and the right hip flexor as well. And then take that right leg across the body, right arm and shoulder stays flat on the floor, right, looking over your right arm and pull that right leg up nice and high with the left, and you should feel that opening up the lower back, one of my favorite stretches to do. Breathe, don't forget to breathe with this exercise. Really feel that lower back opening up. Come back into the middle, we're gonna go the same again, other side. So bring that left knee in, pull it nice and tight towards the chest. Right leg stays straight on the floor. Big deep breaths here. Good, and then we are going to take that left knee across the body, that right leg stays straight, pull that left knee up with that right arm, and that left arm and shoulder, make sure it's flat on the floor looking over your left hand, hold that stretch here. Such a satisfying stretch to get the lower back. Deep breaths, keep them coming. Good, couple more seconds. And now take both knees, hug them in towards your chest and we're just gonna go for little circles clockwise, opening up the lower back and then round the other way anti-clockwise. Good, just little circles here. And then come up on to your bum, legs out in front nice and tall you're going to lean forward rolling at the spine all the way down if you can touch your toes great if you can't don't worry just try and go as far as you can and then slowly release those hands up the front of those legs vertebrae by vertebrae lowering to the floor relax and then you're going to use your abs to pull you up again nice and slowly and then staying tall here and then we're going to come onto our knees sitting back and do some upper body work so take that right arm across your body, pull it in nice and tight with the left. And to increase the stretch, pull that right arm against the left and you'll feel it opening up the back of the shoulders. Focus on that breathing and change arms. The left arm comes across the body now. Pulling it in nice and tight with that right arm, push against the right arm to increase that stretch. 
good work. Now we're gonna go into our triceps, so take that right arm back behind the head, push it down with the left hand on that right elbow. Try and stay tall here, don't collapse your torso. And hold this stretch. And we're gonna change arms, so left arm comes back, right arm over, pushing that left elbow down, stay nice and tall, focus on that breathing, and feel that stretch in the left tricep muscle. Good work. Okay, we're gonna now bring our hands, interlace them together, and we're gonna pull our fingers apart, drawing our shoulder blades apart. Imagine you are hugging a big Swiss ball. Feel those shoulder blades drawing away from each other, a big stretch in that upper back. And then we're gonna do the same, but behind us. So interlace those fingers, get a good grip. You might need to adjust and then take those arms up as high as you can behind you. A really good stretch to open up that chest, particularly if you're sitting down on a laptop all day, you'll see that I'm a little bit tight here. I should probably do more of this stretch, but I do it daily, so we're getting better. And hold, keep that breathing and relax. Good, a little shake off. Then draw those shoulders up towards your ears, big round shoulder rolls going backwards. That's two, three, four, and five then take your neck over to the right hand side stretching the left side back into the middle over to the other side stretching the right side back into the middle same again over to that right side back into the middle over to the left lovely work back into the middle now take that head drop that chin towards the chest and up towards the ceiling same again, down towards the chest and up towards the ceiling. And that is your stretching session complete.